Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Whenever you're seeing this, this is like the first proper video I've done for 2023. And a place I've never been to before. I'm in the secluded village, which feels secluded, the secluded village of Pease Lake. I'm here first in Pease Lake in the Surrey Hills, not far from Dorking, just off the A25, about two and a half miles off the A25. And it's a lovely little village. There's no pub, uh, there's a hotel and a, and a village shop. I've always wanted to come here. It's a great cycling route along here. And the earliest mention of this place is 1784, so it's quite a new uh, hamlet. But some lots of historic buildings. And people, of course, even when you want it to be quiet, here we go, straight away, we've got people doing some road works. Always the way. But over here, there's a nice little brook that comes through. Sorry, sorry about that, can you believe it? As soon as I turn the camera on, we've got to have that. Ah, look at this little brook here, it looks lovely. After we wandered around here, we're going to head up to Gomshall, which I've passed through so many times, I've never actually stopped there. And we've got lunch booked at the Gomshall Mill that's just reopened, uh, ancient mill. That would be lovely. Let's walk up to uh, the church here, the Church of St Mark's. The Hurtwood Inn, built in 1920. Lots of walkers out today. Nice little public footpath here. We'll go out into the Surrey Hills. Look at that. We are in the parish of Shear, which I've done videos for from before, of course. It does feel very isolated here. I say we're not really, we're only two miles away from the A25. Lots of cars around though, spoils the, the view a little bit. But it feels like Homebury, Homebury, Homebury St Mary was at, at the end of last year. So this isolated community, but it's not, you know, I'm still in my home county. But it feels I could be f much further away, you know. This is the lovely St Mark's Church. St Mark's Church, great name. And built in 1889, and built within a year. Only a year to build this church. Right in the centre of the community. Lovely. That's a lovely little bench here. Sit down and admire the view. A nice little spot, really nice little spot. There's not that much here really, I just wanted to come here and just have a look around because I say I've never been here, I've never even driven through it. I'm sure I've driven through hundreds of times, um, obviously going to the Surrey Hills and wherever, but here it's no, it's off, it's not kind of the road that a, a village you drive through anyway. You have to go through a few windy lanes to get here and pull over to let cars come, come through, um, and vice versa. That's nice, yeah. The, this lawn is set apart in thankfulness to God for those whose ashes are interred here. 1965. Okay, should we see if it's opened? Should we have a quick look inside? I 
spoke to some volunteers in there and I, I bought a St Mark's booklet and that's not, it's, it's a you know, in, in view of church's history, it's quite a modern church but I thought I'd uh, get that, have a little read of that yeah, it's really nice, I'm actually uh, I'm going to backtrack on Victorian churches, I, I like the way this one's designed it's very very nice I say, I don't know how big the congregation is these days because, you know religion is declining in some parts of the world whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing is open to the debate spring is in the air I think it's about 14 or 15 degrees celsius today so that's good I don't really need a jacket on really but every time you go to somewhere in the village there's a little walking trail it goes out like little spurs off a sort of a wheel. So we are in the Surrey Hills, as you know. So there's plenty, many uh, places to walk to. Yeah, I do like the Surrey Hills. You probably gathered that. Yeah, lovely. Apparently the writer Ralph Lawrence heard the guns on the Western Front during the First World War from here in Bees Lake. How true that is I don't know. The echoes of the, of the guns. Um, obviously it's much quieter a hundred years ago so could well have. That's really interesting. Like I like it. I imagine it's really busy at weekends. Um, and lots of traffic. Lots of vans, still lots of delivery drivers, all the normal stuff you get. This is the problem I've said before, and you know, I'm a driver so I'm being a bit of a hypocrite here. Um, but the cars all parked up, it spoils the ambience and the view a little bit, especially some of the historic houses. Where first someone's mowing their look or doing something with loud shears. Um, and everyone with their big 4 by 4s So, yeah. We're coming up and doing a history tour or walking tour by looking at it. Alright, let's go into Gobshaw. River Tillingbourne runs right underneath the pub. Do you remember what I was saying about the Walton Estate? Private, no public right of way. Private, keep out, right. So you've got the North Downs up there, the North Downs and the North Downs Way National Trail. Tillingbourne flows out underneath this road here, Queen Road or Queen Road, I think it's called. Down to here. I love the Tillingbourne. Gomshaw's mentioned in the Doomsday Book, but it's actually older than that. It's a very ancient settlement. It's like about flowing rivers that just make you feel so calm, you know? Incidentally, the inn we're going to, the Gomshaw uh, Mill, is really old. Parts of it date back to the 11th century, the 11th century. So that should be interesting.
vintage frog. Antique, vintage and new furniture. Wow! Great. This place here, the Lavender Goose, has been unoccupied, not derelict, but unoccupied for quite a while now. A bit of a blot of the landscape, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't do anything with it, but it seems a prime location not to uh, develop it, you know. Right, anyway, let's go down to the Gomshaw Mill. It's time for lunch. I'm looking forward to getting a little bit hungry. Let's go. Well, I thoroughly recommend the Gomshaw Mill uh, Pub. Lovely lunch, really nice, great service. Um, this is really nice, I'm gonna come back here, I think. So yeah, there you go. Thanks very much for uh, joining me on this little walk around Pease Lake and Gomshaw in the Surrey Hills along the A25. First video really proper for 2023. And if you've liked this nonsense, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And I'll see you next time. Take care.